This week, Apple is rolling out powerful new devices. Microsoft is expanding AI infrastructure in South Africa, and President Trump has signed an executive order to establish a strategic Bitcoin reserve. Let's get into the details. Apple has just unveiled its latest lineup of devices, and it's all about power and efficiency. Mac Studio with M4 Max and M3 Ultra, the fastest Mac Studio yet, designed for high-performance creative work, delivering three times better performance than its predecessor. MacBook Air with M4 Cheap, Apple claims is the fastest ultra-themed laptop available now, featuring a new sky blue color. iPad Air with M3 Cheap, the biggest upgrade yet, now with support for the new Magic Keyboard, making it a strong laptop laptop alternative. Apple is leaning into speed, battery life and portability, reinforcing its dominance in the premium device space. Meanwhile, Microsoft is deepening its investment in AI and cloud computing in South Africa with a $296 million, that's about 5.4 billion round commitment by 2027. What's included in this expansion? More Azure cloud services to support AI-driven applications, enterprise-grade data centers to power Africa's growing digital economy, 50,000 free AI cloud and cybersecurity certifications. Now, this move follows Microsoft's previous $1.1 billion investment in South Africa's first enterprise cloud data center, strengthening the region's role in AI and computing. Donald Trump has signed an executive order creating a strategic Bitcoin reserve using Bitcoin already owned by the US government from criminal asset seizures. The US will not actively buy Bitcoin, only hold what it already owns. The reserve marks the first time Bitcoin is formally recognized as a US government asset. Bitcoin price dropped 5% after the announcement, hitting $85,000 before recovering to $89,200. The order leaves the door open for future Bitcoin acquisitions as long as they don't increase taxpayer costs. Additionally, a US digital asset stockpile will be created to hold other cryptocurrencies like Ethereum, XRP, Solano, and Cardano, but only through government seizure assets. While some see this as a major step towards Bitcoin legitimacy, others believe it's nothing more than a rebranding of assets the government already owns. Now, before we go, here's the tech tip of the week. Protect your data from AI scrapping. AI tools are constantly scanning the internet for data, and if you want to keep your personal information secure, here is what to do. First, check your social media privacy setting. Limit what AI can access. Use anti-tracking browser extensions, tools like Privacy Badger, helps block AI scrappers. And be mindful of what you post online because AI models learn from public content. Opt out of data collection where possible. Some platforms actually allow you to prevent AI from training on your data. Your data is valuable, so stay in control of how it's used. And that's all for this week's Tech City News Update. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. And we will see you next time. Bye.